Anthony Joshua, he looked good. He looked good. He looked good. He looked good. Second round stoppage against Paul Butlin, you know. If you look at Paul Butlin's record, that was supposed to happen. But Joshua showed surprisingly fast hands for a man with that kind of muscle definition. Heavily muscled guy. Through shots with both hands, straight shots, hooks. Look good. Look good. Look good. Look good. Calm, measured. Um, he could have got Butlin out of there in the first round if he if he had wanted to. If he had wanted to, but you know. There's a few things that you're going to pick up as a pro. It's like what I said in How to Fight a Big Puncher. Like, Joshua hurt Butlin. Butlin reeled back into the ropes. He cupped his head into his hands, blindsided, and all Anthony had to do was go to the body. And the fight would have more or less been over. But second round, I don't know if he heard me. <laughs> he heard my thoughts. He did go to the body. He punished my guy. He punished him. More than likely, his cornerman said, you need to go to the body as well. And he finished it off with a crunching right hand. Fight down, fight down, fight down. So, you know. They could probably step him up a level or so without him being in danger of losing right now. I think he could probably beat Sam Sexton at this stage right now. I'm just being real without much problem, you know. Or maybe Larry Ola Bamiwo or someone like that. But they're in a prize fighter tournament. I think he can take out that level of British heavyweight right now. Right now, in my opinion, and it's looking good so far. But, but you know, let's not get carried away. The chin hasn't been tested, the stamina hasn't been tested, the skill hasn't been tested. Um, there's a long way to go, but so far, so good. Job done. Peace out.